Jay, let's get to your alma mater now. Let's talk Notre Dame. Oh, no starting Bruce, quarterback. We're going along on this one. Oh, God, Jordan no Irish starting here. tailback, <laughs> and now they lose their tight end. So a lot of weapons gone off this Notre Dame team. But state your case why you think they could still be in the mix. State your case. Okay, no Malik Zaire. Now you're looking at a third string quarterback and Kaiser Soze. Oh Deshaun Kaiser. Oh, he's a third string quarterback. He can't get it done. Well, look at your running back who's rushed for 253 yards so far this season in two games. He was a third-string running back in the spring. C.J. Procise, that kid has been a stud. So why can't this quarterback, as a third-stringer, who, Don't by you the say way, Cardell Jones. is a four-star quarterback Jones. and proven that he can win on the road with big-time plays like that one to Will Fuller, Fuller, who's one of the best playmakers in the country. Think about this. Brian Kelly back in 2008 with that UC team, he went through five quarterbacks. You know what they did? They won a Big East championship. In 09, he did Got the same thing. Big East championship. I look at that schedule, and nothing should change because that defense returns 10 starters. That defense has four captains on it. That defense has three potential first-round draft picks on it. This Notre Dame team is fine. I'm going to the game this weekend. I'm going to every home uh-huh. game because I'm still on board. <laughs> CFP <laughs> is fully possible <laughs> for the Irish. You know why he goes to every home game? It's because everyone knows his name. Not because he believes. It's because everyone believe knows his name. I actually sign autographs there. <laughs>